bow to the Reverend Father, a respected teachers, and all my dear fellow Eloshians. I am Omar Drihan from class 10th. Today I am here to say the attitude one of April 2024. Everybody has problems. I do have mine, but does not mean I should be unhappy. Problems are the part and parcels of everyone's life. A life without problems is a myth and a fancy. However, it takes guts to lead the rocks. Problems are not meant to take us unhappy, but to the challenge our inner resource so that we can come up with a solution. When you face a problem, activate your mind. Think, at, think about possible and alternative solutions to the problem and keep your emotions and feelings under the control. Stay calm and collected and then set to your solve problem to the best of your ability. Seek emotional or professional help if you require them and then get work seriously. Remember, the best hands that you hear that you help in the times of a need are attached to the ends of your own shoulders. There is nothing so solid and so reliable as the self-help. Thank you. Thank you, Riha, for saying that how the attitudes of this allotions are expected to be in the month of April. Keeping the theme of the school of the year 2024-25, which is strive hard to achieve the goal. Our class boys have decided to perform a skit on how to strive hard to achieve the goal. Now I welcome the boys. One day. Once they lived a boy in a town. One day he came to visit his grandfather's house during his summer holidays. He used to play with his grandpa very happily all the time. One day he said to the grandpa, Grandpa, when I grow up, I want to become a successful man. Can you tell me some ways to become successful? Grandpa nodded in S and took the boy with him to a nearby plant nursery. From the nursery, his grandpa bought two small plants and came back to his house. Then he planted one plant in a pot and kept it inside the house and the other plant in the outside of the house. And Grandpa asked the boy, What do you think? Which of these two plants will grow better in future? And the boy kept thinking for some time and then said, plant inside the house will grow better because it is safe from every danger while plant outside is at risk of many things like storm, strong sunlight, heavy rains and animals. Grandfather smiled and said, let's see what happens in future. After the boy has went back to his city as the summer holidays were over and to continue his education. The boy came back to visit his grandfather's house again. They started enjoying and playing. At a moment, the boy asked his grandfather, Grandpa, last time I asked you a question. How to strive hard to achieve my goals? But you did not tell me anything. But this time you have to tell me. Grandfather smiled and said, Sure, but firstly let us take a look at the plants that we have planted last year. Saying this, Grandfather looked at the board to the place where he had planted a small plant in a pot. They saw that the small plant has turned into a big plant. They 
They, then he took the boy to the look at the plant which they had planted outside. They saw that a big tree had grown out of a small plant. Its branches spread far and wide, providing shade to his pass by, passes by. Now, grandfather looked at the boy and asked, Tell me, which plant grew more? Which is more successful? The boy replied, The one which was planted outside by us. But, grandpa, how is this possible? The plant must have faced so many dangers, still it grew so big. Grandfather smiled and said, Yes, plants outside have to face many things, but dealing with problems have its benefits too. Plants outside have freedom to spread its roots as much as it wanted. Problems like storms and heavy rain made its roots even strong, which of this two plants? It is so strong that a small storm cannot cause any harm to it, while the plant we planted inside remains small and is weak too, because it did not withstand the heavy rains and strong sunlight. Then grandfather looked at his grandson and said, My son, always remember that unless you struggle in life, unless you go through difficulties, you too will not be able to achieve success in your life. If you will make comfortable choices, then you will not be able to grow as you can. And if you are ready to struggle and go through difficulties, then no good is impossible for you to achieve. Therefore, never think of problems as hurdles, but think of them as stepping stones towards success. Boy took a long breath and stayed looking at the tree. The words of his grandfather were echoing in his mind and started thinking, Obstacles which we consider as enemies in our life, the same obstacles make us stronger and more successful in life. Thank you boys for the skip performance. It showed us how to try hard to achieve a goal. We left a few of the obstacles and what we need to face today in our daily life. If you look into our lives, then you find that often we have to face challenges and difficulties. Many times we get disappointed and lose the courage to move forward. And we thought, thinking of this, we have to strive hard to achieve the goal. Now I request our principal Reverend Father D. Prakas to give his message. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Being the first day of the class assembly, they have proved well and uh, said and also set a model for how to conduct this class assembly and I wholeheartedly congratulate the whole team uh, have been doing wonderfully well from the beginning of the class assembly and the event and they have highlighted also the uh, dictum of this year and also combining the uh, attitude that we should have towards the problems, little inconveniences that we may face in our life. Then only we can really bloom out. So therefore, I congratulate the class teacher and the students who participated in the event. And uh, I also urge you to draw inspiration from this team and continue to have many more laurels to be staged ahead during the academic year. Thank you. Thank you, Father. I call upon Muhammad Sahib to say what our thanks. A warm and graceful morning to everyone present here, Reverend Father, respected teachers, and all my dear fellow allotions. I, Muhammad Shahin of Class 9A, 10A, is my privilege to propose the oath of thanks on behalf of my Class 10A and to acknowledge the contribution of those who work really hard to make this class assembly a successful one. Firstly, I would like to thank the Almighty God for showering His blessings on us this morning and helping us to make this class assembly what is it. Nextly, I would like to thank our respected principal, Reverend Father DJ Prakash, for allowing us to do this class assembly. And I would like to thank our class teacher, Miss M. Sandhya, for helping us wherever necessary. And I would like to thank my fellow classmates for presenting the class assembly. And I would like to thank all the allotions 
standing here for being a good spectators for this class assembly. And I thank all the teachers and masters who helped this class assembly a who helped to make this class assembly a successful one. And I thank the non-teaching staff for arranging the mics, setups, etc. At last, I would like to say that adva take advantage of what of your problem has the opportunity to learn and grow. And always remember that challenges we face today can make you stronger and more successful tomorrow. Thank you and have a nice day.